Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to fix bad measure totals in Power BI and in Power Pivot. Now what do I mean by bad measure totals? Well this video follows a video I released a few days ago which was an introduction to Power Pivot and I have done a, a series on an introduction to Power BI in the past. I'll put both links to those videos in the description here. But in the finished article, we had this. And if we look at the totals in the first pivot table, we have a total for total attendees. And that's a good one. We can see the total attendees over those four years. But then we've got one for the column for the attendees difference previous year. And that total doesn't really mean anything to us. So these are the attendees compared to the prior year. We can see that 2017 had 248 more than 2016. And 2018 dropped by 574 compared to 2017. But then we've got this grand total at the bottom for a little over a thousand. But there's no comparison to another year there. So it's kind of useless. And over here in Power BI, we have a similar problem. I've got a quick example here where I have the four different venues. We've got a little drop down slicer on the right showing 2018 at the moment. We have total attendees, once again, a useful total. But then we've got the monthly average. Now, in the rows, that's great. I can see the monthly average attendance in the year of 2018. But then at the bottom, it's totaling the monthly average, and that's not useful. We want to get rid of that bad measure as well. So in this video, we are going to fix both. We're going to look at fixing the measures in Power Pivot and also in Power BI. So we're going to see two examples, and we're going to do it using a DAX function called has one filter. So we are going to use the DAX function has one filter. And the reason this will work is that when you look at the pivot table, the first pivot table on this report, each of the values that we're interested in have that row context, that filter for the year, 2016, 2017, etc. But when you look at the grand total, that does not have that year filter. So we're going to use an if function, we're going to use the has one filter, and we're going to see if that has a year filter, then great, do the calculation. If it doesn't, show nothing, and that will remove the total. So I'm on my power pivot tab already. I'm going to click the measures button and manage measures. And the measure we are interested in is the attendees diff prev year. So I'm going to select that measure and click on edit. I'll click inside the formula area and control and scroll my mouse wheel to increase the size of the formula so it's easier to see. And we'll start with a classic if function. So it prompts for the logical test. And we're going to test with the has one filter function and it will ask me for a column name that we're checking now we are checking the calendar table the year field because the filter is coming from a row that is storing it's using the column from year coming from a calendar table i will then close off the has one filter function bring me back to if comma to separate my logical test and result if true we get this handy information box underneath where I'm typing. Now, if that's true, if it has a filter for a year, then that is when the calculation happens. So I'm going to click on the end of that calculation, comma, result if false, an empty string to show nothing. I could obviously type something different there if I wanted some type of value or something to be shown. Close off my bracket, I'll check the formula, and it's quite happy. 
So I'll click OK, and I'll close down this Manage Measures window, and the total disappears. So that bad measure total has been fixed. Let's go and fix the one in Power BI. So here we are in Power BI, and let's fix this bad monthly average measure. Now this time, in this matrix that I'm using, we have a filter using the venue. So if we take the same approach, but now we're in Power BI, so I'm going to click in the data view on the left hand side. I've got the monthly average measure selected already from the fields list on the right, so we can see it in the formula bar. And then I'll click inside the formula bar. I'm going to scroll so that I can make that formula larger on screen. And I'll type the if function and then the has one filter function. So that it prompts me for the column name. Now this time, remember it was the venue that was being used as a filter. And the venue column is in a table called venues. So if I start typing venues, here we go, venues, venue. <laughs> I'll select that column, close off the has one filter function, comma under result with true. That is the calculation in this example. I'll click on the end, comma, empty string, close bracket, just like we did in the previous example. But now we're in Power BI. I'm going to switch back to the report view, and there it is, or well, there it isn't to be precise, because the total has disappeared. We still have the monthly average, but I've hidden it because it was a bad total. It didn't mean anything, it was confusing to see it. So I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.